subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. Hello beautiful people out there this is Ashish Johan from Ashish Creation welcome back to my youtube channel I hope you all are doing extremely well so in this video I'm gonna show you how you can create a very smoke bomb color smoke bomb photo manipulation in photoshop before getting to the video just hit the like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos and preset for you guys just for free and if you still haven't subscribed to our channel then do subscribe and hit the notification icon to get latest updates and don't forget to visit our website that is www.asurecreations.com from there you can download backgrounds camera reset lightroom preset and every kind of you know photo editing loots and video editing loots everything just for free so go and just go and check it out that website guys and follow follow me on instagram also just type as with creation let's jump to the video all you have to do is just capture some photograph in such a way that you are holding such kind of you know can or something like that in your hand and click that photo in the camera now let's select the photo by using the quick selection tool so let's select the quick selection tool from the toolbox and just click on the plus icon and just roll all over the subject's body to make it selected in a proper way you can also use the pen tool to select precisely i have already made a video on that which is the whose link is given in the description so you can use pen tool also and if you want to deselect some portion then you can select the minus icon and just roll in on the area where you want to deselect now here the important thing is to just to you know uh, select the hairs of the subject so let's just right click on it and select the uh, select pen mask option in photoshop cs6 if you are using photoshop cs6 in photoshop cs6 you can see that refine edge brush tool so you just go to that uh, no option and just select the hair and if you are using photoshop cs6 then you have to select the select and mask option and just click on the plus icon make sure you have selected this second brush tool that is refine edge brush tool now here the opacity should be you know 100 percent because we want 100 percent white now all you have to do is just roll all on the edge of the image of the subject or the model to make it to make the hair selected in a precise way so it will automatically detect the minute hair details of the hairs and it will select in a proper way so you here you can see i have selected the hair in perfect way now let's just click ok so you can see it is selected now just right click on it and select layer by copy option to make a duplication of the image so here you can see our hairs are pretty much selected in a perfect way I have already made a selection so let's just now the next thing would be to crop the image for our Instagram profile so just select the crop image crop tool and select the 8 is to 10 ratio which is the perfect size for our Instagram profile to be uploaded so just you know increase the size of the image you can still increase some more Yes, this would be the perfect I guess and just hit ok now the next thing would be to you know add the backgrounds in the image so before adding the background here we will just you know add some dots and burn tool on the image to enhance the subject face so let's select the burn tool and just give some cuts on the face of the image or the subject make the exposure to around 10% uh, and just minutely add some dodging on this area this will you know actually create some kind of very much perfect that uh, shapes of the you know chins and here let's select the dodge tool and make the exposure to around 10% and just increase some dodging over here just a minor bit minor
this will create some highlights on the image which is giving your photograph a very awesome look so you can see the before and after effect it is really you know making a depthness on the face of the image you can decrease the op opacity also if you want to decrease or you can just I think this would be the perfect I guess let's select the burn tool and let's add some burn on over here now it is looking really very perfect this was a flat face and this one is really looking enhanced the face now the next thing would be you know to add some background on the image so let's select the background go to your file click on open and let's just to select the backgrounds from here and just drag and drop over here it is really very simple to add the backgrounds now go to the edit select free transform and just increase the size of your the image this is how you can just increase the size If you want to decrease some more then you can select the crop tool and let's just decrease some portion. Now this seems to be alright. And hit OK. Or still you can just play with it and adjust the color combination and the perspective of the image Now let's again crop the image. This one is really a perfect ratio and just hit OK. Now here we will add some loots on the image. So let's go to the color lookup and just select the cinematic that is fourth cinematic look loots which I have already given in the description. You can download it from there. So let's select this loot file now the next thing would be to add it some you know below the subject layer add create a new layer select the brush tool and select the smoke uh, brushes which i have given you already so you can download it from the link given in the description or you can download it directly from my website so let's select this uh, smoke bomb brush uh, sorry smoke color bomb brush now give one stroke of it just one stroke and just press ctrl t from the keyboard and just flip it horizontal way and just place it somewhere over here 
so that it may look like you know it is the smokes are coming from the can now here still you can select to create new layer and select the brush tool and let's add the smoke particles so let's just keep it to somewhere over here this will actually you know give your photograph a very awesome look Press Ctrl T and you can increase the size if you want to increase. Now this one is really looking very awesome. Yes, one more thing which we have remaining to be done that is doing the process of uh, let's create new layer first of all create a clipping mask and select the brush tool select the soft round brush pick the nearest color of the hand region and just paint it and just merge down with the background and now let's select the blur tool and select the hard round brush and just blur the edges of the image of the subject which you have cut out because it is very much necessary that your photograph should look very much realistic so in order to maintain the originalism of the photograph you have to do this process of blurring the edges because this will actually you know create your photograph and make your photograph to look like it is really captured from directly from the camera it is not edited so it is very much necessary that you should always do the process of blurring the edges whenever you have cut out the image or the subject image this will you know make your photograph to look way more better and no one would be able to identify your photograph is uh, edited or the original captured from the camera so just, just do the process of blurring the edges whenever you just do cut out the image. Keep this in mind that you should always do this process. And also do the process on the facial region also. let's see. select the eraser tool and if you don't want something you can always erase it again let's select the blur blur tool and just do the process on the face also on the jacket and pant if the subject is wearing and just do this process this will you know by blurring that just your photograph and the subject would be actually merged with the background so it is very much necessary that you should blur the edge of the image of the subject in order to give it a very you know realistic look you should do this process so you can see we have almost done the process of blurring the edges and don't do on the hair region because we want a minute detail of the hair so don't do that process of blurring on the hair on the head of the hairs let's select the clone tool and let's just clone it a little bit over here now it's looking all perfect and now the next thing would be you know to by applying the loots you can see the difference it is really looking way more better if you want to enhance then press ctrl l from the keyboard and just move a bit 
uh, increase some lightness So you can see the difference. Now just merge all the layers, right click on it and select merge layers. Again let's select the crop tool and just crop the image. And if you still wanna, you know, Press Ctrl J from the keyboard and you can still add some more contrast by adding the color if you want or you can just uh, place it somewhere over here Now here the next thing would be to you know add some highlights on the background so let's just create new layer and create a sunlight ray so select the brush tool and select the soft round brush and pick this color of yellowish color and just increase the size and just give one stroke of it now go to the blend mode and select the screen Press Ctrl T from the keyboard and just you can place it somewhere over here. Press Ctrl U and just decrease the saturation and move it to reddish color. Now this one is really looking very much perfect let like you know the rays are just coming from the back side and it is directly coming on the head region which is really making your photograph to look way more original so you can see the difference now just merge all the layers right click on it and select merge layers and just select the crop tool so finally you can see we have completed our process and it is really looking very much amazing and the best to color smoke photograph you can just make for your instagram this is the perfect example for that so you can see the difference here was the before and here is the after a huge difference can be seen in the photograph well I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed then just hit the like button on this video you know so that it will motivate me to make more videos and preset for you guys and if you still haven't subscribed to our channel then do subscribe and hit the notification icon to get latest updates and don't forget to visit our website that is www.aswarecreations.com from there you can download backgrounds, camera preset, lightroom preset, LUTs and every kind of photo editing stuff just for free. So guys go and check it out that website and follow me on Instagram also. Just type as your creations. So guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video.